For the first time since 2009, the Federal Reserve has raised a key short-term interest rate. The federal funds rate will be increased by 0.25 percent. And the increase affects interest rates on a number of things, like your mortgages or your car loans. Local News 8's Dennis Valera joining us now in the Pocatello Newsroom. So, Dennis, how are our wallets and purses going to fare with this increase? Not too badly, Carol. This initial quarter rate bump isn't going to do much to us. It's the gradual increase to rates the Fed could make that could hurt us. While an increase is coming to our housing loans, we're likely not going to feel it. When I spoke to the Idaho Central Credit Union, they said the market has been anticipating the increase in mortgages. And even so, the increase isn't significant enough to slow it down. For most housing, you know, a lot of people, first time home buyers and, and, and the like, pretty much do a 30 year mortgage. A small incremental move, like I said, of $20 doesn't usually, in many cases, stop people from buying a house. For car loans, it's a similar story. A finance manager here at Cole Chevrolet says the increase could translate to around three or four dollars. That said, it'll be business as usual. It's nothing to worry about at all at this point. The, the rates are so low and the market is so competitive for those auto loans that somebody's going to get you a rate you can afford if you have good credit or even if you have marginal credit. It's not going to be a problem. But say the Fed decides to gradually increase the rate from 0.25 to 1%. Smith says that's where we can see adverse effects. That can make a significant difference in your payment, which puts you in a different car than you may have come in on before. Mm -hmm. Whether it stops you or not, that's up to you and what your budget can afford. Your credit card interest rates will also increase unless it's at a fixed rate. Live in Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. Okay, thanks, Dennis. Fed policymakers say they will pull back on increments to the hike if the economy should falter. Today,